Alrighty, let's play this in full first with sound. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Ooh, I like this. Nice. I the only thing that strikes me, and I know you mentioned in your email that he is not really animated yet in terms of his reaction, except for this, um, you know, head and face and, and working on her as well. That's totally fine. I totally get it. Even if you would animate this, being influenced by this and the head and blinks and all kinds of things you want to add, that only, I feel like... I'm not super sure, it's very subjective, but I'm not super sure about this pull back into a fist. It's awesome when you play backwards. Um, I wonder if it would be pulling the arm back, where then that corner is here, and the hand, but the hand would be just in a more relaxed pose. I mean, it might even be, it might even be this, maybe only this high, moving, you know, maybe the arm could even go all the way back here. You might not even see that the uh, corner here so this arm will come here and then the hand would just be here or again a bit higher i will probably just go for that because i'm slightly this at this point looks like i'm just gonna bam so i would just probably subjectively i feel like you want to tone that down and, and stay within something like this and i mean it could be like this with a slight rotation this way so you can see maybe the thumb here i mean it, there could be a contrast with so not just up, but it will be up and with a slight rotation over. I personally, I would probably just do that, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. Other than that, this <laughs> he's he's very freaked out, but I like it. I have to say, I like it. She seems very desperate there. I'd be careful with how low you want to go with those eyelids only because she seems pretty freaked out and panicky and gets pretty like hmm i'm not sure back to ah so these are very consistent and that one takes me out a bit so either you want to lower those lids so maybe there's not a real a massive in between something between these two throughout so this is lower and then you can go to this. And then when you get back to this, again, it's a bit lower. Or you stay with this. And when you go here, you just go a bit higher. So you can go back to this. I would just, That's the only thing that kind of strikes me at this point. But I'm a big fan. And I'm, I'm glad we incorporated this. That she does start off. She has a slight feel of being off balance. Still falling over. So I don't know if you want to adjust slightly with the curvature of the spine and she can still she can still have all of this but i wonder if that with the head tilt might work better there's something that feels like as if the screen was off this helps stabilize the thing but um there's just something everything seems so this way and also careful if you do a head tilt that it's not just pivoting off of that joint here is that you also have a slight move from the lower neck and then into that head tilt it, all subtle, but there's a slight feeling of this versus a bit of a nicer line through there. But I would try, just to see what it is, to have her a bit more, you know, so it's a bit of a lean into the chair. She can still uh, have the head tilted over. This just seems weirdly, maybe it's just me, but it just feels visually like she's off balance. But I like, again, like that she goes from this to this. I love you. And to me, it really matches the the tone of the voice, the energy and the desperation almost. I love you. This might be a bit much once you spline this. This might be slightly over animated. Maybe we'll see also how far out she goes, but we'll see how that is once, once you spline it. You might have to reduce that so it's not super snappy unless you want to do it like that. But Something I'll just be careful about once you spline this. Those are big moves within one frame, and you don't have. You might have to add a couple frames in there, depending on the speed. I love you. But it's great. I like this, and then I like that she gets. She grabs the hand and gets closer to him, and then recoils a bit. And I like this a lot that she then grabs it. And again, I still think that even if that hand is a bit lower in a slightly different position, 
that this would still work into that. So it should still be okay. I've loved you since I met you. Yeah, I'm being so close. I think that works. It is so ever so slightly a bit too cut off. I'm gonna have this a bit over there, but um this I would not have that ear here. And I know you're gonna animate this, it's gonna change a bit of forming a bit of a tangent there. I'm just curious how that's gonna look like once everything's slightly animated, but there's that slight feeling of being so heavy up here. You might have to zoom out the whole thing by maybe this much. Just a tad. Give her a bit more room and him a bit more room, potentially. Um, I might expose... I don't think it would expose the elbow. Speaking of which, you're asking about this. I don't know the answer to your question. How you can... It's either frame by frame or you got an elbow pin. It's depending on the rig. Um, you might have to do something where you, where you actually constrain the joint. You might have to go into FK mode. Uh, I'm not sure, because we do have tools for that. And I'm gonna have to confess my ignorance when it comes to that. But yeah, I think that's that's kind of it. I've loved you since I met. The only thing shape-wise, this still feels weird. Where I buy this, but then, bam, this is so extended. I'm curious if the camera is is looking through this view here. How pulled that neck is. I mean, you'll you'll be able to tell me. I mean, it looks like she has. Every now and then, a really long neck that I would reduce. She just seems almost broken at this point. So maybe back off of that just a bit. Eyeline seems good. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Since I met you. It's cool. You might even, even though I'm telling you to tone it down here potentially a bit, you might experiment by amping this up by maybe 10 15 percent i've loved you since i met you met you i like that you go up and forward for that little accent there you might potentially go even further further up and forward again okay, not stretching the neck but by moving her forward and i don't know just a little bit potentially but i like that that's in there that's great then i like the little adjustments when she goes back that this happens through here just be careful then once you get into this that it doesn't feel like there's this pivot here and then everything pivots off of that arm and then watch out once you get into spline that you don't have things like this where elbow is moving in the arm and the hand is not and notice it's just that mode and rough but as you move forward these all those ik uh, flags be careful about that and i wonder if at this point yeah depending on what you're going to do with that arm maybe bring that one a bit more to the left so that this will be technically around here so then we have that elbow bend in there, so just a bit lower. This would still work as a silhouette, but then that way you see a bit more of that arm. It's right now just an ever so slight weird connection of all those lines there. I've loved you since I met you. I love you. I've lo I wonder if through this, right at the end there, she goes, <gasps> This gets a bit, I wouldn't say neutral, it's definitely not neutral, but there's something where I wonder if this is a moment that you could push facially once you're going into details. Um, that moment of rejection and panic and sadness, then into this, where she goes, this is my last chance. So maybe through there, pushing the acting ideas here a bit more, just facially, different, like, you know, pushing expressions, but a change, a change from here to here. Because here she seems freaked out and then a little lower and then it seems like she's much less freaked out unless you're doing lots of darts here where she's thinking what could i do now and that's my last chance so it's just something to think about as you move forward just during that moment i think this could be cool a cool acting moment there just so we kind of know more of what she's thinking that's kind of it. it's a great update really really like it um and that's it yeah keep going thank you all right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.